Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a Marvel Studios comparison for the new re-releases of the Infinity Saga art books and the originals. For those unaware there are a lot of MCU art books, currently 50 at the time of recording. This is broken down into 33 for movies, 7 for Disney Plus shows, 1 special, 3 Road 2 and 6 declassified books that match the movie slipcases for Agent Carter and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. These do fly under the radar for fans but they are still coming. The Infinity Saga movies, which ran from Iron Man to Spider-Man Far From Home, each had their own art book. These were a good size and came with a slipcase, but over time, these have become harder to come by, with second-hand markets being the place to buy them. This is where Titan Book steps in, and the reason for this video. They are a big publisher with a long history of art books, going back as far as the original Star Wars movies. They are now re-releasing the Infinity Saga art books, previously done by Marvel themselves. Marvel is still doing the art books for the new movies and shows, but are unable to hit release dates, so it made sense to give this task to another publisher. These books are resized as a matching set, no longer with slipcases, and at a lower price point. But the question for me was, as well as asked by others, what are these books? Are they the same? Should I buy them? All reasonable questions, as it's not been made entirely clear. So, I bought one, I can now make this video, letting you know what you're getting and if these are worth your hard-earned money. So far, they have released seven of these books, the last being for Thor The Dark World. The book I bought is Marvel Studios, The Infinity Saga, The Avengers, The Art of the Movie. These titles aren't great, more than a little wordy, and this is one of the shorter ones. I'll of course be comparing this to the first edition, The Art of Marvel's, The Avengers. In this video, I will go over three points, build quality, content, and value reviewing and comparing to point out any changes. The first thing I noticed was the size of the book. While it's noted online the new books are resized, unless you go out of your way to look up the dimensions, it's not clear what is meant by this. These re-releases are smaller. In comparison to the originals, of course while comparing without the slipcase, the height and width are shorter. It is only by a couple of centimetres, but worth noting and very noticeable as on the owns the original. They are still reasonable size though, I don't feel like it works against the quality of the book. If comparing to the size of the newer Marvel art books, these are pretty much the same height, just not as wide, as they are keeping the same dimension ratio as the first editions. The obvious change is the lack of a slipcase. I miss these from the original Infinity Saga run, as unlike many slipcases that are weak and basically just for decoration, these were solid and protective. It added value to the books, and you can hear how solid it is here. Titan Books re-releases come instead with a dust jacket over the hardcover, branded with an Infinity Saga banner that is consistent on all of their versions. Under the jacket is the art featured on the slipcase for the first editions, which is a nice touch. It doesn't make up for the lack of a slipcase though, but for value, I can see why they made this choice. The binding is also solid, actually improved in the case of this comparison. I noticed Titan Books version is a little thicker and quickly realised why when going through the book as you can open it much easier. A problem with some of the originals was the binding felt too tight at the spine, by which I mean the pages didn't want to stay open. It looks like they've given the new version a little more breathing room, which makes for a much improved experience turning the pages. As you can see on screen, this is the original. The pages do not want to lay flat at the centre of the book. Not uncommon, but there is resistance here. At the back, you can see the pages don't want to get close to the cover. They are stiffer and bounce back. Not unreadable, but not ideal. It didn't happen in all of the books, but certainly more than one. Compare this now to the Titan Books version, the centre opens up a lot more, which is great. The back of the book has much less resistance in the pages, you can hold them down with almost no effort due to the improved binding. While cutting back in the presentation of the book, they have still improved on it. A great win for the buyers of this version. On to content and what I was most curious about. Are these new versions the same? It's a question I've been asked when posting about these books by people that own the originals. And I can now confirm the content is exactly the same. The only changes I can see are small differences in the image size and text placement. I looked at the first handful of pages and then flipped to the back for the quickest way to find out artist credits. As you can see, the credits and page counts in both versions are the same. This is good news all round. New buyers that missed out on the originals can get these knowing they aren't lacking anything 
and people that own the originals did not worry that they need to spend more money to get something they don't have. I expected they would be the same, but happy to confirm that this is the case. Although it's a minor improvement, I do think the print quality is better here too. I'm not involved with printing or publishing, but it feels like the slightly smaller size, perhaps being printed 10 years later, has made the prints a little bit more clear and slightly richer in colour. It's difficult to pick up on camera, and it's only a small improvement, but it's worth noting for those that are deciding between hunting down an older version or buying these versions. In terms of what content you get then, you know what to expect and you can see it on screen. There's art covering the characters, set pieces, marketing, storyboards and more, insights about the designs and movie, and a great use of page space with each image credited on the page. I won't review the book as a whole here, but Marvel art books are some of the best out there. So now onto pricing and value. This is where these books are make or break. Is it worth buying these when larger versions with a slipcase can be found online? Starting with price, these new versions are very reasonable. In fact, I've seen some great deals online. On Amazon, I saw the re-release for Thor at £12.99, which is around $17, an absolute bargain for over 200 pages of early MCU concept art. You can find the new books for under £30 or under $40, which is a great price. For context, these are cheaper than the new MCU art books, which are around £35 or $50. These books also have no slipcase, but max out at 224 pages, much less than some of the Infinity Saga art books. Now comparing the re-releases to the originals, how they are on the market is a mixed bag. This Avengers book, for example, is still a reasonable price, not too much more on a site like eBay. Others, though, can be much more expensive. This is where the new books will be appealing, because you can get used copies of the originals at higher prices, with sealed copies sometimes going into triple digits. I'm impressed with what Titan Books has done. They are smaller and without a slipcase, but improved binding and keeping the price low is great for buyers. If you were to ask me which version you should buy, Unless the original is one of the few you can buy at a good price, I would have no problem recommending one of these ones. I would recommend them even more if your aim is to get the whole set. You will save a lot of money while getting the exact same content from a reliable publisher. It will be a long time before they are all released, but people that missed out before and new MCU fans will find a huge amount of value here. And this brings me to the end of the video. Are you planning on buying any of these? Is this your first time hearing about them? Do you own any of the originals? Let me know in the comments and if you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to ask. I'm continuing to explore ideas for the channel and I'm happy to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already for art book flip throughs and reviews of both old and upcoming releases. Thanks guys and take care.